Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to Resident Evil 1, the remaster for the PC, which I actually didn't know existed until very recently. After the remake of Resident Evil 2, I became aware of the fact that they HD remastered the Resident Evil 1 remake and the Resident Evil 0, and they put them on PC, and this happened a long time ago. And so, just a little background on my history with the series, Resident Evil 2 was probably the first game that I ever played uh, on the PlayStation 1 back in 1998 and I would have been 14 years old at the time to date myself a little bit and it was yeah the first PlayStation game I ever played and on the spot I basically fell in love with the survival horror genre and I stuck with it until Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube which I felt like was probably uh, the height of survival horror games for me I really loved that game and after that I kind of fell out of the series after not really liking what I saw of Resident Evil 5. And then all the side games and prequels and sequels got hard to follow the plot. That was a little unappealing, but with the remake of Resident Evil 2 and the soon to be remake of Resident Evil 3 coming out in April, I am really excited to get back into the series. And I feel like for myself and anyone who is new to the Resident Evil games, this is a great place to start. So welcome to the original survival horror game. Resident Evil. All right, we are gonna keep the display on wide. We're gonna leave all this as it is. Uh, let's see. This is our difficulty setting question. How do you like your games? One, I like climbing a mountain. Fulfilling, but it takes a lot of work. Like going on a hike. Good exercise, but not too strenuous. Or like taking a walk. You can relax and enjoy yourself. Let's go with what I believe is probably the normal setting. We probably have easy, normal, hard. Just because it's been about uh, over a decade since I've touched any Resident Evil game. Let's see. If it's too easy, maybe we can crank it up. Uh, as far as characters, we're obviously going to go with Jill. We have the choice of either to play through Chris play through Jill. Depending on who you play through, you'll have a slightly different story experience. Oh, we have some alternate... alternate outfits. Hmm. Well, this looks cool. We can go with either. This would be the original outfit. Let's go with this one. Alright. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Seriously, mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
All right, and we're in. Well, some lessons learned there. Aim for the there head. There are only three Stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Yeah, for, for a remaster of a game that's over a decade old, it looks pretty damn amazing, in my opinion. <clears throat> we need dining. his gun. Alright, and we are in control. Let's see what we have. We have an ink ribbon. We will take the ink ribbon. We need these to be able to save, so when we find typewriters, we can save at them. But we have to have an ink ribbon in order to do that. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. So this is old school. Use the ink ribbon? No, not right now. Let's progress a little bit. We want to save our ink ribbons. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Well, it's not red wine. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. All right. Yeah, if it's Chris's, he's probably screwed. Let's take a look at some of the audio settings here. Well, let's tweak him down a little bit. Let me know about the audio, if it is too loud or too quiet. And if you haven't already, I would really suggest uh, turning the lights down and the volume up for this one. Kinda set the vibe. So I'm playing on an Xbox controller, and the controls are interesting. It's something you have to get used to. Because it kinda changes depending on what area you zone into. The old loading screens. Still intact. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Okay. Sure thing, Wesker. Oh, we can't even come out. He's like, no, you go back in there and you do your job. Well, okay then. You don't seem suspicious at all, Wesker. Um, okay. Display. Alright, well, I guess we know we are in here. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Picture of two knights striking each other. Short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Right through the eye, it looks like. It's a terrible way to go. This probably doesn't kill you right away, you know. Uh, we can go this way? No? Hard to, hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, I'm really not sure. We're obviously looking for something. Here's the door. Okay, we'll go in here. We'll go to the other door. Well hidden. This is a fun camera angle. So you see how each area gives you this a unique camera angle to work with. Because the backgrounds are all pre-rendered, so we don't have free control over the camera. And it just adds a layer of gameplay. 
Especially when we start getting into some combat, you'll see how interesting that is. This one is locked from the other side. And do we have a map yet? Um, I don't know. There has to be a quick key for that. So the red doors are doors that are locked. The gray doors we haven't investigated yet, and the blue doors we've been through is how I'm writing this. It marks where the typewriters are on the map. M on the keyboard will bring up the map, however I'm playing a con with a controller. So... Really need to find the button that does it on the controller. It's not the button you would expect. There it is. It is the right button. Not the right trigger, the right button. Right button brings up the map. Got it. An emblem of armor is carved into the lock. All things that we'll have to remember and keep in mind. It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. The music seems unnecessarily tense. Can't we just relax? There's an elevator here. It doesn't look like you can access it from this floor. Well, okay. So what you're telling me... Well, there... Yeah, okay. Let's head down to the far end and check out this gray door. That is actually back this way. Oh, shit. Speaking of combat... Okay, oh, we are already fucking up. Should have fired the gun. Oh, that's not good. I thought we could, like, throw them off, but... Is he dead? Did we get him? Okay. No shit, he's not dead! Oh, man! We can't even fight him off of us. I don't think he can be killed. But we can be killed. Clearly. Oh, so disturbing. So, you know, fight number one, death number one. Remember when I said I love these games, but it proved remarkably bad at them? Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Uh, we've gone back to the classic look. Which I think I'd prefer for this playthrough. Honestly, the hat was kind of jarring. All right, now I'm wondering if we just get the hell out of here and uh, leave it at that, you know? That was not the right way to go, though. Not if we wanted to get the hell out of here, it wasn't. This is the door we need. Oh, no, shit. Is this the door? Okay. We just need the door to get us out of here. We'll deal with that guy later. Maybe when we have a knife, because when we get Mary. knives... What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Okay. Barry's got Let this. Me take care of it. That's right. Oh sh shit. Headshot, Barry. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Alright. So we weren't supposed to be able to kill it, obviously. We were supposed to freak out, run away, lead it back here, and not waste all of our ammo. Alright, yeah, let's report this shit, because clearly things have gone wrong here at the mansion. Uh, should we save? That's always a good question. I think we're okay not to, but I could regret that again. We'll see. 
Um, that didn't sound good. Like, at all. Let's just report back. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Like, if he was in the hall, wouldn't he have heard you? He obviously peaced out. I don't know what he thought he was doing here in the first place. And who lit all these candles, anyway? Better finish searching the hall first. Okay. Does this count as the hall? Clearly it does. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Alright, we got the lockpick. I wonder which door is. Probably any door without an emblem. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Hmm. Got it? Okay. I love how well done their gear is. Like, all the details on it. Like I said, very good HD remaster of a game that was originally released on the GameCube. So very long ago. Okay, so we have this key now. We don't really know, like, where we're supposed to go. We have loose objectives, but nothing concretely guiding us except to explore and find our friends. So we can start with the doors that we know we have access to. And I don't really know what's going on down here. Yeah! Wonder what's on the other side of this. Yeah, I don't know that I want to find out, though. I'm just going to avoid that for as long as possible, I guess. Okay, so this door is locked. An emblem of a helmet. So, we're gonna have to pay attention when we pick up emblemed keys and try to match them to the doors that we remember. And hopefully we will remember. Okay, strange looking room with something glowing up there. Um, and then this. Clearly there for a reason, but sure, let's move it. Um, an old photograph, okay. Can I pull this out of here and like use it to climb up and grab this thing out of here? Woman drawing water. Okay. Portraits and photographs decorate the wall. It looks like they could come to life at any moment. Well, I certainly hope that they don't. It's locked. Emblem of a sword. I guess we could explore down here. I have a bad feeling about down here. Down here seems like it could get us into trouble. Eerie picture of the mansion. Various art supplies. So nothing useful down at the end of that hallway. That's the sword door. There is a key up here. Um, I'm a little bit... I just wonder about this. Why can't we push it? I want to push it. No. Now she only wants to climb on top of it. It makes sense. Well, I hope we don't need that anytime soon. I'm convinced we absolutely have to get this key, but... We, we can see where else there is to go. Hmm. 
Well, there are stairs back here. But we've learned... Okay, yeah, these just lead here. They don't lead anywhere. Let's go back up. Alright. What is up here? Okay, this is an entirely different area. And I hear something moving. And we're going to avoid him as soon as we get him coming this way. Come on. Just keep following us. Uh, look at this. Will you take the dagger? Heck yeah, I will. Emergency evade. Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defensive weapon, go to the status screen and then select the end item from the defensive item menu. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the controller settings, you must press the left button. Okay, left button. Um, do we have this set up though? Yes, we have it equipped. So whenever we get grabbed from the front, we can hit left button, like jam it into their head. And then they're all done. We need that sword key. And we probably need this diamond that this lady is grasping. This just seems like a great idea. I'm not really sure what we've accomplished, but we have accomplished a thing. And it is going to get us possibly nothing. But possibly something very important. We'll see if we can even figure out where it landed and get to it. So where did it come down at? Firstly, I think we have to go down here. Did we push it down into the dining hall? We must have. Aha. Uh -huh. We did knock it down into the dining room. And it is a blue gemstone. Of course we'll take the blue gemstone. We have no idea where it's going to be used. But still. Now that Barry took care of that zombie, we could probably go back this way. Oops, wrong way. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. Looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Okay, that's really cool. We'll see probably his last moments or something. Where we're gonna find an AV room in here, I don't know, but I'm sure that we will. And so keep in mind, guys, I played this, you know, well over a decade ago when it was released on the GameCube. I think that was 2004. So we're talking about almost two decades. I don't remember many of the events. Like, at all. And since it looks so much better, I the, even the visuals in the rooms, I don't rec really recognize anything. It's basically a whole new game to me at this point, which is a very interesting feeling. Yeah, what did happen in this mansion? Uh, what's up with these shackles on the walls? That's a little creepy. It's a large birdcage. 
There's a dead raven inside. Ooh, I think this is ammo. Heck yeah, we'll take that. We got a lot of bullets right now, for the moment. Now that could change any second. Herbs are for healing. So yes, we want the green herbs. These will be for healing. And to save some inventory space, what we can do right away is if we can get into our menu, we can combine these. And that makes them into mixed herbs, which heal for more. So we'll be able to wait till we're lower, we're lower on health, we'll use this. And it frees up that inventory slot. Eventually, I think we'll find storage chests to dump some of our stuff in. Things like the blue ruby that we might not need until later. An open door. That's uncommon at this point. Yeah, this is a blind hallway. I have a bad feeling about this guy. Can we get the herb at least? Yes. There's a lot of herbs. Uh, we're finding a lot of herbs. Maybe even too many. Let's use the same tactic here. I feel like the yeah. Where is this guy? He's gonna be right coming right here, right? The aiming mechanisms are not the best. Come on, buddy. We know you're there. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at that. Right in the head. But is he actually dead? That I don't know. But we got a nice headshot off. Proud of that. It's better than our first performance, where we emptied an entire clip to a guy we couldn't kill. There's an inscription on the shield. Death is only the beginning. Yeah, that's easy enough to say when you're just writing some bullshit on a shield. But it is actually quite final. Death is the true essence of bliss. Also, incorrect, unless you're some kind of psychopath. Well, if we take this, something terrible is going to happen. No. We're not ready to take this yet. It seems like a good idea. But as soon as we take it, I believe we're going to be, like, crushed to death. And we haven't saved. This one's locked. Emblem of a helmet. So let's remember this little room, because we'll be coming back here at some point, like when we figure out how to stop ourselves from being smushed in here, and stabbed apparently as well. Alright, alright, so he wasn't dead, he got back up, and he started walking around, and then he took like, 12 more shots to the head. Let's reload, shall we? How are we looking? Uh, 15 and 7, not bad. Okay, so they, it's not just one shot usually, even if it's to the head. It's like, multiple shots, this hallway is confusing. All right, all these doors are locked, except this one, which we came through. We have like a lock pick thing, but it doesn't seem like we can use it. Will you take the golden arrow? Yes, examine an item. From the status screen, select an item and then select examine details will be displayed. Okay. Uh, we can zoom in. 
What are we looking for exactly? It's like almost leading to believe we have to find something critical on this thing, right? The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. The arrowhead is made from peridot, sometimes referred to as poor man's emerald. Arrowhead. Okay. Is that the only part of it that we need? And what am I to do with the arrowhead? Okay. Perhaps no other information to be gleaned from this item. Uh, more ammo. Oh, that stacks well past... I thought it would only stack to 15. Okay. What do I know? Two doors here. Both show as locked. Locked from either side. Oh, we unlocked it. We were able to unlock something with our lockpick. Very cool. Because we didn't have a key for it. Where did that get us? Just back out to the main hallway here. No luck here. That guy we could probably just ignore. I don't feel like he's stopping us from getting anywhere that's worth the bullets to take him out. And I guess we're just going back over in this direction. It might be a good idea for us to hit up the typewriter in the dining room and just save. Because we haven't. And we haven't found any other save points. Can we unlock any of these other doors? Can I stop messing with the camera? <laughs> the controls are weird. If you've never played a Resident Evil game, the controls are very unique. The way you navigate a 3D character through these pre-rendered fields uh, is interesting. It doesn't always work as, as you'd want it to in all cases. But it adds a layer to the gameplay. It is literally the camera, the camera work and the controlling of the character that Sometimes the challenge of it is actually just part of the gameplay. It's, it's there intentionally. Look at this creepy hidden door. Look at this creepy open hidden door. Wow, we, hey, we got right in. Oh, we got right out. We are already outside. Do we want to be outside? My guess is it's probably more dangerous out here. Okay. Well, let's explore. We have shotgun shells, but we, we literally can't carry any more items, so we're simply going to have to remember where these are at for when we have a shotgun. Not, not going to be too hard to get back to. Oh, yeah. It's not unsettling at all. Oh, engraved, engraved with the picture of an angel, there's an indentation of an arrowhead. Well, you don't say. And so now, we need to actually use the item from our inventory. You can't just click on it. You have to go into your inventory and use the item. Another old school thing that you don't really see games do these days, especially action games. Not that this is really an action game. But since they don't make a lot of true survival horror anymore, it wouldn't really have an equivalent. I feel like we don't need to be down here right now. But, uh... These guys are missing parts to their faces. Yeah. Okay, that's a little disturbing. Flames are burning higher and higher. It looks as if they'll overtake you any minute now. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. 
Will you take the Book of Curses? I have a feeling that something bad is going to happen if I do this. But nothing did. So let's examine this. Ooh, what is this? There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? Well, of course we will. We got the mansion key. Book of Curses. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. And why would we ever want that? So we got the mansion key. Which mansion key is it? Is this just like a general mansion key? I don't... Oh, it has the sword. This is the sword key. Okay. Brilliant. Alright, let's get out of this creepy thing before a creepy thing comes out and kills us in some creepy manner. And we'll just have to remember about the shotgun shells. That's locked from the other side. There's something in there that we can't get right now. Now, if I'm thinking about places that we need the sword key. I thought there was one on the bottom level and one on the top level. Helmets. Um. See, I probably should be writing these down. Like what hallway has what hallway has what type of locked door? Oh, because what was this one? Was this the sword? Yes, this was a sword door. I think there's one more up top. Kind of hoping to find a typewriter room soon. Maybe with a storage chest. But that might not be happening. Um, shit. Don't like that very much. Picture of the mansion suspended in darkness. Oh, good. Wait, can I move any of these? Oh, hell yes I can. Oh, yes, we will take the dagger. Can I move it back the other way? Okay, well that was all that was hiding there, but... Very cool. There's nothing here but a bunch of ornamental plates. Oh, so, okay, so we can't do the same trick twice in the same hallway, apparently, but I bet this one we can. Some ammo. Wow, they just let it stack all the way. That's very interesting. Really helps with inventory management when we can infinitely stack our bullets like that. I wonder what the cap is on the stack of ammunition. That was so cinematic, I was waiting for her to, like, start talking. Uh, where have we gotten ourselves to now? Bunch of doors over here. We use the lockpick for this. Where is this going to take us? We're just opening so many doors now, so easily. Everything's opening for us. Um. Hmm. Don't like... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I heard a dog. We're not gonna, we're not gonna take on the dogs until we absolutely have to, preferably we have a shotgun by that time. Picture the mansion against the setting sun. So what is this room here on the right? Uh, 
Creepy bathroom, why not? Hey, the bathtub's full. Um, I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna regret it. But we are definitely going to do it. Yeah, um, let's go. Let's stomp on his head. Let's stomp on his head. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling we'd regret it. Oh no. Well, everyone has to have a first time stomping on a zombie head. Hey, we got a dagger. We're accumulating these and not having to use them very often. That's reassuring. Assuming we're not going to find anything good in here. So, uh, let's get out. It's just for the dagger, I guess. Totally worth it. Now we can we can get grabbed three times now uh, and stab them right in their heads. Which is going to be amazing for us. And this episode's going to be a little bit longer being the first one. I really want to dive into the game, but I, after this I think they'll probably run about 30 minutes. Because I believe it's only going to be an 8 or 9 hour game. Okay. What's up with this? Strange room with interesting murals on the side. I can't tell if we just walked out the same exact door. Uh, we did not. We are just all over the place. Look at all the open doors we've had in this area. There's nothing of interest here. Another dagger. There are me. Oh, look at this. You know, though. Should we grab that? Is it a trap? I feel like it could be a trap. Oh, an ink ribbon. We have five ink ribbons. Safe to say we can start using those to save our game soon. Oh, you can't carry any more items. That's a bummer. So, we need to remember that the shotgun is back in this little room. We need to find a typewriter and a storage chest ASAP. I have a feeling if we take that shotgun though, something bad happens. I can't remember what. But I feel like it's something bad. Alright, what's behind the double doors? I like the anticipation of the of the loading screens, even though it's very antiquated to have loading screens. It, it builds suspense, sort of. Where are we now? It's so expansive, I love it. And I love, like, that we can kind of just free explore. Like, we clearly have objectives, but... Let's do it! Now, th does that kill him, though? That's the real question. Also, I hear somebody else. We don't have any room for these healing herbs. That's a bummer. I would just go right out this door, I guess. Oh, look at this. Alright. Well, in that case, I kind of want to explore that upstairs a little bit. Because I think after that, we'll come down, we'll save. And we'll take a little break. But let's just see. Firstly, I want to see if this guy is... Is down. Okay, he's down. So the dagger goes in the head, they stay down. Let's check out what's going on up here. Look at all the pictures on the walls. Because I thought I heard... Holy shit! I was going to say, I thought I heard somebody else. Damn it. Our gun is basically useless. We might as well let him grab us and then just use the dagger because I feel like we're just... We're basically wasting ammo, you know? 
feel like we're getting a couple good shots in, but let's just clear this hallway. Make sure nothing else is going to pop out at us up here at least. Whew. And then I think after that we can go... Uh... Alright, nothing else lurking up in the hallway. So the hallway is a safe place. The downstairs area is a safe place. This window is shut and that's probably... Or open and that's probably not a good idea. But let's go ahead. Pop into our nice cozy save room with the gentle music. Which I love. Such a good atmosphere change in a stressful game to come into these safe rooms and just get a totally different vibe and know that no matter what, nothing bad is going to happen here. When things are stressful, you can get here and de-stress. And it's like a good break to have just to be able to come somewhere in a, in a game like this where you know that like nothing awful is about to happen. Let us store this thing we don't, uh, we don't know yet. We're going to store one of these. I feel like we just store some of the ammo, especially while we have defensive knives on us because we just lack inventory space, you know? We've got this. Will you take the fuel canteen? Yeah, we are taking the fuel canteen. And we'll take the handgun magazine. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna, no. <laughs> We're not going to save yet. We are gonna, going to dump the rest of this in here. So we are going to store this. Can I store like a certain amount? Or no, I just have to like... I guess it doesn't matter. We'll hold on to this in case we find what we can fill it from. We'll want to have it. We'll want to have the key. We have a first aid spray in here that I I guess it was just here for us. Um, let's just take the ink ribbon so we can save. And then when we leave this room, when we come back, we'll leave this room. We'll dump them back in the, in the stash. And I think the stashes are all connected in any safe room, so... Oh, look at this. There's still plenty of kerosene left in it. Refill your fuel canteen? Yes. You refilled your fuel canteen with kerosene. That's going to be useful for something. We're going to be starting a fire, obviously. All right. Let's go ahead and save. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I didn't know how it was going to go or if it was going to be enjoyable or how good it was going to look, but I think it plays amazing. It looks amazing. Um, I'm into the story because, like I said, it's been almost two decades since I've played the game. So I hope you guys are having a good time, too. Let me know what you think. We're going to use our ink ribbon here. And this is where we'll take a break for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always interested to hear your thoughts. My plans are that we'll play Resident Evil 1, we'll play Resident Evil 0, we will play the remake of Resident Evil 2, and then hopefully right about finishing that up, Resident Evil 3 remake will come out. And we'll dive right into that on day one, I hope. So yeah, just thank you guys for joining me today. Your support really means a lot. If you like the video and you want to see more in the series, Consider subscribing, ringing the bell, and giving us a thumbs up that YouTube algorithm really loves it. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys take care. Wish me luck, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.